these cupcakes would be my husband Greg's favorite because he likes lemon. Oh, all right. Anything lemon is good for him. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. If we can do this um, together, if you don't mind sifting yes, the flour. Yes, I get to work. The baking powder and the salt okay. together. I'm going to pull up toward me. Here. And I'm going to pull mine towards me as well. It's kind of far out there to do. Yeah. And I'm going to mix together the soy milk, the sugar, the oil and the lemon. Oh, nice. Put that all together. And then you're and then just going to whisk it together. Now you can mix to or you can in. use the little blender we did. Either one would work. Is that well, right? you only really need the blender if you're using the butter. But if you're using the oil, you can just use the hand whisk. Okay. It is better to use the, when we combine these together, it is better to use the hand, um, the electric blender, but okay. if you haven't got one, it doesn't matter. Okay, so Finish either one it. works, that's yeah. the nice thing. As long as you can get all the lumps out. Yep. Then we just, <laughs> I'm going to move this to the middle. There you go. We're going to combine these two together. And we used canola oil? We did, okay. yeah. Okay. And then just mm. stir. Yummy. How do you come up with your recipes? Um, I look at what's popular. I watch. Diff I love to watch cooking shows, uh -huh. um, and I also kind of look at what do what's not out there because I've That's never good. seen many mango cupcakes. Uh -huh. um, and I just thought, well, what flavors do people like yeah. that are not that would work in a cupcake okay. as well? So I do that as well. Oh, that's cool. And I try to see what's healthy but is popular. Yeah. Because some things are healthy, right. like broccoli is healthy, but obviously that wouldn't work in a <laughs> cupcake that I know of. But people like mango and pineapple and lemon, and right. those are healthy and things, and they work well in cupcakes as well. So there you go. That's done. Perfect. Quite looks good. And we just use our ice cream scoop, so we get to half fill these. Yes. Like and it's so. the same. It's the same temperature. 350, yep. 180, or gas mark four. Four, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and how long do they bake for? Just um, about 20 minutes, so 18 to 22 minutes, depending on your oven. Um, different ovens perform differently, so it just depends on what oven you have. And um, we have them up front, and they are done, and they look delicious. And with regards to decorating them, as you can see with these, we put them in a bright yellow. I see that. Because sometimes people think, oh, if it's vegan, it's not going to be look attractive. But right. you can put things around it to make it attractive. You don't necessarily have to put loads of frosting on it. You can just put a little smidgen so that Which it's still healthy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and just make sure you put it, present it nicely. Because I think presentation mm -hmm. is good with vegan food. It is. Because people tend to think it's not going to be that interesting right so it's that good attractive. To kind of, so you yeah. want people to say wow this looks yeah. good and this tastes good and i want to try this because sometimes i make these for <laughs> church and I, I decorate them so they look nice and people go oh are these vegan <laughs> and yeah. i thought exactly that's exactly the reaction i wanted i didn't that's want right. people to go oh no they're vegan i wanted them to say right. oh wow oh, these are vegan right. i didn't realize okay oh mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's a close tie to the coconut. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's very good. They're all good, but I think so far those are my two favorites. 